We move on now to the big headline about sexual assault on college campuses. We learned today that a staggering 55 universities are facing a federal investigation because of the way they respond to their students in a crisis of sexual assault. ABC's Paula Ferris has the story. Alcohol, loud music, and late nights. Sexual assault on campus doesn't always happen like that. It can happen anywhere at any time, and the colleges may not be doing enough. Today, the warning shot from the U.S. Department of Education fired at those 55 colleges and universities that receive federal funds being investigated for possibly mishandling sexual violence and harassment complaints from students. Among those on the list, Harvard, Michigan, Ohio State, Southern Methodist, and UC Berkeley. I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life worth living I dreamed that love would never die I dreamed that God would be forgiving And I was young and unafraid And dreams were made used for his day There was no ransom to be paid No song unsung, no wine untasted But the tigers come at night With their voices soft as thunder As they tear your hope apart As they turn your dream to shame With endless wonder He took my childhood And his stride But he was gone When autumn came He claims he can't remember what happened. I guess it was due to the, uh, the effects of the alcohol. Uh, I must have blacked out. I have no, no recollection. Corey Beatty and Brandon Vandenberg, former students at Vanderbilt University facing decades in prison for the sexual assault of another student, a 21-year-old female. I remember waking up in an unfamiliar room at 8-something the next morning. One defendant's strategy involved blaming his behavior on a crazy college culture and shows like Jersey Shore. They want to be like the people on TV. They see shows like Jersey Shore and they think it's funny. And these shows glorify drinking, 
they glorify sex. They glorify promiscuous sex. They glorify acting out. They glorify multiple parts. The prosecution keyed in on three pieces of evidence. Surveillance video, testimony from a co-defendant. I don't, I don't recall that. And images of the assault. They claim surveillance video shows the victim being carried by Vandenberg to his dorm room, accompanied by Beatty and two others. Vandenberg, it says we're going to have According to prosecutors, the four former football players laughed at the victim during the assault. Vandenberg then gets condoms out and gives everyone a condom. Vandenberg is alleged to have literally passed around condoms to try to encourage other people to have sex with this woman he was presumably dating at the time. So as a legal matter, even though there's not an allegation that Vandenberg engaged in a physical act of rape that night, the authorities believe his actions, his intentions, his comments all become rape because of what he was doing and saying. We find Mr. Vandenberg guilty of aggravated rape. It only took three hours for a jury to come back with a verdict against the two players. We, the jury, find the defendant Corey Lamont Beatty um, guilty of aggravated rape. Guilty on multiple counts, including sexual assault, attempted rape, and destroying evidence. Sexual violence against women is wrong. Job well done, stand in ovation Yeah, you got what you wanted I guess you won And I don't wanna hear They don't know you like I do Even I could've told you but now 